All right, so I'm going to show you exactly how to do this cool effect, which is being able to do a reversed reverb. And this effect is something that you kind of see. It happens a lot in vocals when you're trying to get something to kind of swell into whatever you're singing. I had two tracks up here. I'm going to record something first, and then I'm going to take a snippet from it and then show you the whole process. Oh, I want to say that I love you. Got a vocal. I'm not really worried about it being perfect. This is not, we're not doing this for a song per se, but you could do this in a song. And so now I'm thinking I want to take this. Oh, I, I want to. Hold down control and then click. Should see a plus sign. All right, you might have to click it twice. And then once you have it copied, then we can go about. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this track. Now, it does have a reverb on it right now. I'm going to take it. All right, I'm going to reverse it. And then I'm going to add some reverb on there. And I'm going to make sure it's turned all the way up. I'm using a natural reverb. All right, but you want to make sure that you have a good amount of decay and you want to also make sure that you have your wet knob or your mix turned all the way up to 100 percent okay all right this is what it sounds like so far let's mute this part okay now right now we don't really hear anything right because the reverb is not enabled so now let's enable it okay so we hear it and it's cool and now what we're going to do is since we have the reverb on there we're going to take the clip we're going to click on it and i wish i had an option to do this right clicking where you could just render it right here but for some reason it doesn't have that option on here now even though this is the pro version of traction waveform this will work on the free right click and then you're going to go down to render clip Render, I'm going to do render to select the clip and replace it. All right. And everything else is checked fine. Render. All right. This is what it looks like now. Okay. And now I can listen to it. Okay. It might be a little distorted. Okay. Let's bring this gain down some. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to reverse it back. And it should sound like this. Okay. And then what you can do is you can kind of taper it if you want to taper it some. Or maybe kind of have it come in. Um, and then I can take some of this off. And let's try this. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. And I can play around with it and mesh it with this other track. Trying to gain down some more, probably. Ooh, I Ooh, I yeah, and this is a whole concept. Now, you might have to tweak it a little bit to get it exactly where you wanted it. But this is the whole concept that you'll see a lot on. Ooh, I okay, like EDM, you know, R&B, especially like things like The Weeknd and stuff like that. Um, have you used this effect before? And will you use it let me know in the comments below hopefully this helped uh i know it's not perfect but this gives you an idea of what to do it does work a little better with certain plugins like maybe i'll try a different reverb and see if it works better on this but yep this is waveform explored if you have any more questions or anything please let me know in the comments below take care